Well, I always switch off the lights because it just seems pretty intuitive to me that you turn off the lights, you're going to save energy and save your light bulb. Other members of my household, you know, they have much more important things to think about. To answer this important question once and for all, the team are halfway through their experiment. They found out how much energy six types of light bulb use when they're on, and now they need to see how this compares to the energy surge that happens on startup. And for this test, Grant unveils gadget number two. This is an inductive current loop. And what you do is pass your wire through here. And as the current flows through here, it actually induces a voltage. This line is going to go to a computer-based digital sampling oscilloscope. So in that millisecond range, that really quick turn on, I'll be able to capture that and measure exactly how much current is going through that wire. With Grant's electrical mastermind firing on all cylinders, Carrie once again turns apprentice. Soon you'll be able to do this blindfolded. <laughs> open, open your mind to your feelings. Feel the wire. I, I have no idea what that's from. <laughs> yeah. When the test finally gets underway, it doesn't take long for a pattern to start to emerge. So the interesting thing, um, after a couple different trials, We've caught, there's always a big spike on startup as the filament warms up, which is to be expected, but it's not very long. And actually, it gets to steady state very quickly. But I think we're probably gonna have to hold our judgment mm -hmm. till we see some of the other ones. So it's coming to light that the energy wow. surge used on startup is not very big at all. And that means that only a few calculations stand between Grant and a bright conclusion of the lights on or off myth. So, crunch the numbers and here's what I got for the incandescent. Total power used during startup is 21,522 watt seconds. Total power for one second is 59,519 watt seconds. And that makes our break even time 0.2. Three, six seconds. Okay, so from that, I guess that means I'm leaving the room to go make a cup of coffee. It's only worth it for me, economically, to keep the light on if I come back in a third of a second. Yeah, that's, that's pretty quick. <laughs> That'd be a really quick brew coffee. Okay, so yeah. in this instance, I am turning the lights off when I leave the room. Yes. A quick brew indeed. For the incandescent bulb, the startup surge is so small that you will always save money if you turn it off when it's not needed. Stand by for the next. Grant keeps plugging away and soon has the results for the other five bulbs. And they all conform okay. to this pattern. Okay, I got the compact fluorescent figures. 0.015 seconds. Faster than you can blink your eye. Halogen, 0.51 seconds. Okay, fluorescent tube. 23.3 seconds. So the common fluorescent tube draws more energy on startup than any of the other bulbs. But it's still only equivalent to 23 seconds of continuous use. As far as a residential situation goes, that is the most likely one for you to have. Still, 23 seconds? I don't think so. So far, this myth is looking really easily busted to me. I mean, I don't think that there's any way you're gonna save money by leaving the lights on all the time. I mean, unless you have a room filled with fluorescence and you only plan on being out of the room for 30 seconds. Yeah, but I think that's only half the story. I think our fans are probably wondering, as I am, how this affects the longevity of the bulbs. So you wanna to test to see if the number of times you turn the light bulb on and off has an effect on the lifetime of the bulb. In a final test, specimen bulbs are lighted and allowed to burn out. So the final test before reaching a bright conclusion is to see whether the money you save turning your lights on and off more regularly means that you spend your savings replacing your bulbs more often. Well, uh, it's not just energy consumption that figures into whether it's better to leave the lights on or turn them off. It's also longevity of the lamps. So what I've set up is a little timer plus a relay. What I'm gonna do is take this group of lamps and turn them all on and off at uh, some predetermined time interval. So why don't we just put this on a two minute cycle? 
So that's the plan. Grant's rigged the lights up to a timer, and they're going to turn them on and off every two minutes to see how long before the bulbs break. And six weeks later, the results are in. Okay, so we've been running our longevity test with a two minute on off cycle for over a month now. And the only bulb that is not burnt out is the LED. So how does this test compare to say, the average stress and usage that you put on a light bulb in a normal household? Right, because I mean, these lights have been turned on and off over 10,000 times in a month. Yeah, actually, that corresponds to over five years worth of stress turning it on and off in a regular household. And given that when you turn on an incandescent light bulb, it uses the same amount of power as 0.36 seconds of continuous use and doesn't really take that much wear and tear, Jamie might be right. You're supposed to flip off the lights when you leave the room. Yeah, I have a feeling this one's busted. Yeah, I think it's definitely busted. Jamie's always right. <laughs>